all right what is going on guys welcome back to another dragon ball z dokkan battle video and today we're going to be showcasing what should be if he does come before the third year anniversary should be the next lr to come to global dokkan they still have not gotten lrt in in chaozu which um i i really don't think they're on time with that which i mean if we're talking about global they really they're on their own time guys so me saying they're not on time for that really means nothing because they're on their own damn time um but LRT and Chaosu should be coming to Global sometime. I'm gonna say in the next less less than six weeks. Should be in, the, in less than uh, the next six weeks, guys. So uh, he is gonna be the all types attack and defense plus 100% leader. Um, oh, and if it sounds like I'm being like kind of quiet, guys, and I'm I'm kind of trying to do something else right now too that I'm really excited about bringing to you all. Um, so I'm kind of trying to focus on two things at once. But he is gonna be the all types uh, attack and defense plus 100% leader. He, uh, his 17 key is going to be double Dodon Ray. 12 to 17 key is going to be double Dodon Ray. Um, and Swordy Bond is going to be his 18 key. Now, his uh, 12 to 17 key has a rare chance to stun the enemy. And with his 18 key, he has a medium chance to stun. So he is going to be a stunner. That's probably the best thing about him. I'm not a fan of his passive skill. Um, he does, via his passive skill, by the way, he does has, has the potential to gain up to 20,000 attack and defense. He gains 10,000 attack. Um, actually what I need to do right here, I need to float LR Goten and Trunks because that's going to be his best linking partner. Going to leave Vegeta out front so he can mitigate some of that damage. But back to his passive skill, he, uh, he, he has the potential to gain up to 20,000 attack and defense, guys. He's going to gain 10,000 attack when the key is 8 or higher. He's going to gain uh, 10,000 defense when key is 11 or higher. And then when key is 14 or higher, he's going to gain 10,000 attack and defense. So he has the potential to max out uh, at plus 20k attack and defense, which... You guys know how I feel about flat boost, so that goes without saying. Uh, but his late skills are going to be Z Fighters, Crane School, Dodon Ray, Master People, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, and Legendary Power. So, as you can see by the team that we're running, we're focusing mainly on Shocking Speed. Um, like I said, his main partner is going to be LR Goten and Trunks. They share, I think, Z Fighters, Shocking Speed, and then the last two links, which are Shattering Limit and Legendary Power. Even though Legendary Power is kind of irrelevant and has been forever. Um, but I guess it's worth noting that he will get an extra 5k when he, su when he super attacks. So, let's see. Uh, what I need to do is... LR goes in the trunk should be around in the next ro Not the next rotation, but the next next one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we should just, like, molly -wop through this whole event right here. This is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah, this is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We should just straight just tank this event. Let's see. So, this is going to be his 12 key, guys. Double Dodon Ray with Tien and Chaozu. Uh, that went without saying, though. Not really a fan of his Super Attack animations at all. Either one of them. Um, he is, I guess, kind of a dope LR. He does tank really nicely. Um, if you guys care to see his defensive stat, which I don't know why you would. I mean, I guess I could show it, but it's not really going to be It's not really gonna be too, too high. So, uh, a couple more things about the card, guys. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is going to be 140, and his 24 key is going to be 200. Uh, ooh, this is actually not a bad rotation. Let me put Dispo in the back. We could probably... No, we can't be him on this rotation. We can't. Uh, if we get... Hmm. We, we might have, if I would have put Vegito in the back, because he's attacking, I think, three times, so that would have been a hell of a lot of counters. So we probably could have took him out if I left Vegito in the back. But I didn't want to... See, we're going to get counters up front anyway, and we we do have the chance to counter crit. It's my Vegito Rainbow. He, he might be, he might not be. I'm not sure. He definitely should be SA-10, though. And I think I have four dupes in him. I might only have three because I remember hunting for him recently and I can't remember if I got that last copy or not. I might have three. It could be four though. I'm not sure. Let's see what Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta can do though. Is he going to be stronger than Kakarot right here? Ooh, almost. Okay. So he's about halfway dead. Can Dispo finish it off with the lightning speed? Now I am a fan of Dispo Super Attack. That shit looks hella clean to me. I'm not going to lie. I love Dispo Super Attack, and then his he has the he has the ability to infinitely gain attack as well. Dispo is one of the better sleeper cards in the game, guys. If you didn't know, so we have our two LRs back to back. Which ooh, is that gonna be an 18 key? That should be an 18 key right there for us. All right, so we're gonna get our ooh, and then a max key with LR Goten and Trunks. Yeah, we're done right here. So we're gonna max out um, on that 20k to attack and defense that we get from the passive skill. So he is at max stats right now. Uh, let's see. What is his attack stat gonna be? Let's see. Ooh, with the clean dodge. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna cap out at a 1 mil attack stat. We probably could get a little bit more um, if we were aiming to. But right now, I just want to make sure I keep him in. Ooh. With the... Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, we'll do... Uh, we'll do one more stage, guys. Let's do this. We'll do one more stage. 
Um, the reason I didn't do Boss Rush Stage 5 is because I didn't want to... We're running a Super AGO team, guys. I did not want to struggle against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This would have been like a 10-minute video. Uh, but that's the only reason we didn't run Boss Rush Stage 5. I could have did Stage 4, um, but we don't have a lot of physical attackers. I guess we have, what, one, two, three? If we get his 18 key... Okay, so we, we have about half our team has physical attacks, and we do have Vegito as well, which uh, his counters would have did a decent amount of damage too. Uh, let's see. Oh, this this is first rotation KO. First rotation KO right here. But yeah, guys, um, I still am... Actually, I should be posting the multiverse video tomorrow. I'm going to see if Afro can help me with some stuff. And possibly... Oh my god. And possibly Kabuki. Uh, if everything goes the way I want it to go, I should figure out how I want to do the style and the layout of the video. Because that's really the only thing holding me back right now. I already have the script written. Um, actually, I already know the first two stories that I want to do. But the only thing holding me back right now is I don't really know how to edit that type of video. So, once I figure that out, it should be nothing holding me back from getting these videos out to you guys. But I'm really excited about it. This is something new to the channel. Hope you guys like it. If I can find a way to edit this stuff to be just like... To, to just make it even more dope I'm probably gonna do this on the regular because I am a fan of all these Dragon Ball fan fiction mangas I love I ooh, with a Super Saiyan 3 fusion that's what I'm talking about uh, this should take them out actually if you get a crit all right no crit uh, who's in the back Dispo yeah Dispo okay uh, Dispo's probably not gonna crit even if he does actually he is getting that infinite hmm. okay there we go I can always count on Dispo to clean it up in style, too. Look, look at that pose, man. Alright, guys. Uh, like I said, though, I apologize if it sounds like I don't have a lot of energy right now. But, for one, like I just said, I'm trying to focus on something else right now, too. And, uh, also, I do have company in the house, and I don't want to be, like, yelling and screaming with people over here. But, uh, what I'm going to do is actually put Vegito right here so we can get that tank in action going on. You know what I'm saying? tank in action going on. Um... And oh guys, I haven't forgotten either, I am still grinding Legends, I will be posting videos on Legends as well. I'm probably going to pick up some Chrono Crystals and try to summon for you guys since Broly just dropped. Uh, I wish I could have summoned for you guys today, but I don't really keep up with Legends like that, so I didn't expect for another banner to drop out of nowhere. Uh, but now that Broly is here, I definitely will be summoning for him. Don't, don't worry guys, I promise I will be summoning for Broly at some point. I might, I might pick up like 10k, I don't know. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure. I might pick up 10 At best, I'll pick up 10k. Uh, at worst, I'll pick up like 5k. So we'll see. Um, ooh, what should I do here? Uh, let's bring these down first and foremost. And then that's going to be a clean. Is that going to be 18? Oh, we just barely missed the 18 key. Okay. Uh, hopefully, LR Goten and Trunks can give me that Super Saiyan 3 and we can get a crit. If we get a dodge right here, if we get a dodge, I can't scream. I can't scream. I can't scream if we get... Okay. No reason for me to scream. They just hit me for a hundred K. That's crazy. Oh, and we got the base. Oh my God. Okay. We got the base form into the Super Saiyan one. That's not good. Hopefully. Oh, we're rocking almost 400 K. Okay. I forgot that this isn't a nuke team. So we're rocking almost 400 K HP. I wasn't expecting that. I forgot this is Super AGO. I'm so used to like my nuke teams having like less than hundred K HP. All right, let's see. Uh, oh my, LR, LRT, and I almost called him LR Goten and Trunks. LRT and Chelsea, he's tanking like a freaking boss right now. I know we are getting that 20k to our defense, but shit. Alright, so I definitely want to keep Vegito in the back for this. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to skip any attacks while Vegito's on the board. Um, but I will heal up just in case. I don't know why I did, I probably didn't even need to, but that super attack kind of scared me a little bit. It hit me for over 100k. Super attack scared me a little bit. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, if I can only get one super attack off right here, I definitely want it to be God Koo. Can I get anything else? No, I can't. So we'll just go right here. Um, but yeah, if I can get one super attack off in this whole rotation, I definitely want it to be God Koo. He is going to be our hardest hitter if you don't count Vegito's counters. Um, but if you do count Vegito's counters, he's probably going to crit for about a mil too. Hopefully he crits for a mil. If not, okay, 700k, I'll take it. Uh, Vegito's going to go ahead and finish him off, whether it be from his basic attack or his counter. It's going to be from counters though. Here we go. So finishing that off, as you guys saw, LRT and the Chaosu, not the best LR. Global doesn't have him yet, so I kind of wanted to just show you guys what he's like at 100%. Like I said, we should be getting him in, in the next six weeks or so. Not really a fan of his passive skill. I don't like flat boost, but he did tank pretty well because of his passive skill. 
Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We didn't really get a chance to stun anybody, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all in the next video. Peace.